Turn me up in the headphone. What is going on fam? And right out the gate, I need you to understand that mindset is everything. So come here for a minute and let me help you get your mindset right today. Trying to get a lot of dough and dirt the water obstacles cause anything is possible. Yeah. Look at my glass. Oh man, I got a lot of gold. Stack that bread and buy my nose. Anything is possible. All right. All right, so welcome to, or welcome back to Faith Like That. We are a Christian ministry that is dedicated to helping you live a clean life for Christ and to live that life abundantly. We want you not just to have faith, but to have the applied faith working in your life, the kind of faith that can move mountains. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel and go ahead and hit that bell icon so you know when our videos are coming out. And at any point in the video, even right now, you can go ahead and smash that like button too. When you hit the like button, it tells YouTube this is great content and it'll play it for more people and it'll play the same types of content for you. So again, today we're here for some motivation. If you're not sure how this show works, I go out and I consume motivational content throughout the week that I come back and I want to share with you all so we can collectively have our mindset right and together and move forward and go out and do something great. So um, yeah, this week um, I want to share with you a post from a good friend of mine. Uh, again, I, I, feel, I feel like a, a recent video I may have shared, his name is Orrin Adams. Um, he's on Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, uh, a couple of different places. He's a financial coach, uh, great guy, um, building something great and done some great things. So uh, he, he shared this post that I want to share with you all. But before I do, again, go out and follow Orrin Adams on Instagram and LinkedIn and some of these places in Facebook like I shared. Okay, so um, the post says, you can't pour from an empty cup Take care of yourself first. Bruh, fire. So true. And, you know, in, in, in grind culture, we talk about the hustle and the grind. We talk about work, 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 work. That's the only way you're going to get there. And it's a sacrifice. And you're going to have to sacrifice it to get there. We can't stay in a comfort zone and grow and move forward. People go to the comfort zone to die and to retire. We're not retiring. We're growing and moving forward. So you're going to have to move. Now, in that, I, I do need you to understand, though, like, you can't sit around and, and, and it's not going to be comfortable to grow in the ground and to build something great and outstanding. That there's going to be a point in it that's going to be hard, that you're going to have to go through, that you're not going to like it. You're going to get a lot of rejection and negativity, and you're going to have to be strong through that. You're going to have to work long hours. You're going to have to go to work and then get off work and come do some more work so you can then grow what you're doing to leave their work alone. So yeah, you gotta do it. And uh, if you're listening to this, you probably know that. So be encouraged that th this is a season, this is a stage in the journey or the cycle, and it's gonna come to an end, and there'll be a different stage or journey. There'll be different issues and problems, but this won't be the one. But in that, in the grind culture, a lot of people are, are concerned about a lot of us because uh, of our habits of not taking care of ourselves. Now I need you to understand, that you gotta hustle, you gotta grind. But at the same time, you have to take care of yourself. Because Zig Ziglar said that if you wanna get where you wanna be, you gotta help enough other people get where they wanna be. But how do you help other people if your cup is empty? You can't help nobody else when you are out of gas, you're burnt out, you're used up and tired. And you look that way. So you need to make sure you're taking care of yourself so that you can then take care of other people. And for those of us that have families, like I have a family, uh, wife and two kids, I can't pour from an empty cup. So I have no time or interest in being involved in something that's going to drain me to the point where I can't be there for them. So even in this and what I'm doing, on the side of YouTube and my video production business and my e-commerce stuff and the, the books that I write and whatever they are. In that, I have to make sure that I take breaks from that when I need to. I have to plan free time or time where I'm just taking care of me or just, just sitting reading or watching a movie or whatever because it's needed. 
you have to fill up your cup so that you can pour it in other people's cup. You can't be drained. You have to be able to be a battery for other people. Eric Thomas says that, be the battery and charge up somebody else. You, you can't charge up nobody else with double A's. You need car batteries and beyond and really charge up somebody else. But even those have, have a certain way in the alternator where it brings power and juice back to it. So you need a process where you take care of yourself. All right, so again, thank you for spending time with us today. Go out and follow or subscribe to Oren Adams on the different social media platforms. He's talking about some great stuff. Also, if you are interested in getting your finances together or maybe even working with him as a financial person to make some money on the side, a sort of side hustle, go ahead and find him on social media or these different places. If you have not done so already, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon so you know when our videos are coming out and hit that like button because if you're still here, I know you liked it. And until next time, have faith, be safe, and we'll see you soon.